this video I'm going to show you how to make your neons or aftermarket lighting in your vehicle pulse or blink to your music. Okay? How do we do this is um, pretty straightforward. I have right here on my table, just disregard this stuff, this is just my testing equipment. I have a standard 5 wire relay, okay, and I also have a pre-wired socket. I have a single zone audio box shock sensor, okay. These, these parts are pretty easily and readily available. We sell this stuff on our site. They're really cheap. This is like five, this is like maybe 10, 15 bucks, not a big deal. Um, and again, this here is just a standard 12 volt um, car neon tube, which has two wires, black and red, which is pretty typical. Now, these two wires here are from another power supply I have run across the room. And you'll see that when I wire this up to 12 volts positive and grounds, it's just going to turn that light on just like that. Not the coolest looking light I've ever seen, but it's, it's good enough. We'll just go with the hideous yellow neon today. Okay. Now, in most of our other videos, we do have one that specifically refers to what I'm doing with this relay, which is basically um, how to switch 12 volts out of it. So in your own vehicle, you're going to have, of course, under your dash, which is most likely where you're going to be working, all you need to do is locate a constant 12 volts wire. Of course, ground is anywhere. A chassis, ground, metal in your vehicle. Okay. So what you do is... going to take pins 87 and 86, twist those together along with the red wire, or oh, that's looking for 12 volts on that neon tube. Grab out all three of those, cut them together. Always fuse, be safe. My fuse is in line, trust me on that. Okay, so I got constant 12 volts going to 87A and 86 on my relay. Also 12 volts going from my neon tube connected to this as well. Okay, so now what I got left is just a couple wires. We only need two more wires on this relay. Say from your switch that came with your um, your neon, or if you just have a switch lying around, a single toggle switch, or momentary switch or whatever it is. You can you can tie that into this wire right here so that we can override it. And basically what's that gonna do is instead of having this tube just run directly off of the, the power source wherever it is, you can actually utilize this relay and get a stronger power source from it, switching it with this relay, which is a good idea. Alright? Now we're gonna bring the shock sensor into the picture. Like any other shock sensor, the colors may change to a very slight degree, but almost every time they're going to be the same. Red, green, and black. Some of the dual zone shock sensors will have four wires. Red, blue, which is instant trigger, green, which is worn away on this one, it's instant trigger, and then black is ground. So always remember that red is constant, black is ground on the shock sensor every time, okay? Single shock, sh uh, shock sensor is better because it simplifies it. I don't have to try to explain to you the difference between the blue and the green. Just a single zone shock sensor. I don't recommend using direct to the DEI shock sensors because they stink because when, whenever it takes an impact it holds for about three seconds and it makes you wait another four seconds for it to start working again. And for this application it's not going to be very cool. So take the constant 12 volts from the shock sensor, constant 12 volts, tie that in. The black is the ground. Put that to your ground in your car. You're going to take the green, which is basically going to throw ground whenever the shock sensor takes an impact or when the base hits in your vehicle, for instance. So we can see that our relay is powered up. Um, we have ground coming from the shock sensor. So whenever I do this, or from your speakers, as you like, just like that. And if you don't want to be bothered with this relay, I'll show you how to do that. Just undo all this here mess, take the relay, gone. Just take the black from the shock sensor, ground, take your red, 
from the shock, take the red from the neon, put that to constant 12 volts in your vehicle. This is the green again, this is going to throw ground when the shock sensor feels or senses some music or a shock. Again, just like that. And that's how you do the uh, music to the uh, to the vehicle. Just lighten to the beat. There you go. Enjoy.